Hi guys! In this lesson, I will explain the working principle of logic gates that form the basis of all electronic devices we use, which we can encounter in many areas in daily life. When we say digital electronics, the first thing that comes to our mind is logic gates. When numerical expressions are mentioned, level 1, level 0, logic circuits, or in other words, logic gates come to mind. This type of integrated circuit consists of circuits made with basic electronic elements such as transistors, resistors, and diodes. Logic gates form the basis of digital systems. Input information is transferred to the output by performing Boolean mathematics operations. Operations are performed on the logical expressions logic 1 and logic 0. The reciprocal of one logic expression is defined as 5 volts, and the reciprocal of zero logic expression is defined as 0 volts. Now, let's look at how to number the pins of the logic gates. When we hold it to read the text on the IC, there is a notch on the left side. The pins are numbered starting from this notch. Logic gate ICs are generally 14 pins. For example, when we look at the internal structure of the 7408 IC, we see that it consists of four AND gates. This logic gate has two inputs and one output. When we go into a little more detail and look inside an AND gate, we see that there is a circuit consisting of two BJT transistors and resistors. There are seven types of basic logic gate circuits. They are the AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR gate, and finally the XNOR gate. These circuits, also known as logic gates, produce appropriate logical results with 1 and 0 data received from the input, namely 5 volts and 0 volts, within a certain Boolean algebra framework. That is why we can say that they are indispensable elements of digital electronic systems. Now, let's examine the symbols, mathematical expressions, and truth tables of these logic gates one by one. In order for the video not to be too long and boring, I'll explain the AND, OR, and NOT gates in this video. In the next video, I'll explain the other logic gates. Let's start with the AND gate. Its symbol is like this, and an output can consist of two or more inputs. We can represent the inputs as A and B, and the output as Q. In its mathematical expression, the output is represented as the product of the inputs, that is, it is expressed as Q equals A times B. 7408 IC is the IC of this logic gate. When we look at its internal structure, we can see that this integration consists of four AND gates. In logic gate ICs, the 14th pin is VCC, i.e positive supply, and the seventh pin is GND, ground, i.e. negative supply. So, let's look at how this logic gate works. In order to better understand the working principle, we can interpret the truth table by connecting buttons to the inputs of the IC and LEDs to its output. Let's connect the LED with a 220 ohm resistor so that it is not damaged by 5 volts. First of all, we need to feed the positive and negative of the integrated circuit with a DC power supply. Let's use a logic gate in this IC. The first and second pins of this IC were the input of the AND gate. Let's connect the buttons to give 1 to these inputs from our 5 volt DC power supply. You can think of one of the buttons as A input and the other as B input. Its output can also be taken from the third pin. We connected an LED to visualize the output value. The truth table of the AND gate is as here. When we look at the truth table, if both inputs are zero, the output is zero. That is, the LED will not light when both buttons are off. In the truth table, if one of the inputs is zero and the other is one, the output is still zero. In the other case, when the other input is one, the output is zero. In the last case, when both inputs are 1, the output value is 1. In other words, if we press two buttons, the LED will light on the output. 
we can think of the electrical equivalent circuit as two switches in series with each other. Without both switches closed, that is, without the value of all inputs being 1, the resulting output will not be 1. In order for the output to be 0, it is sufficient for one of the inputs to be 0. Now let's look at the OR gate. Its symbol is like this, which can consist of one output and two or more inputs. In its mathematical expression, the output is represented as the sum of the inputs. That is, it is expressed as Q equals A plus B. The 7432 IC is the IC of this logic gate. When we look at its internal structure, we can see that this integration also consists of four OR gates. So, let's look at how this logic gate works. First of all, let's feed the positive and negative of the IC with the DC power supply. Let's use a logic gate in this IC. The first and second pins of this IC were input of the OR gate. Let's connect the buttons to give logic 1 to these inputs from our 5V DC power supply. Let's connect an LED so that we can see the output value. The truth table of the OR gate is also the same as here. When we look at the truth table, if both inputs are 0, the output is 0. That is, the LED will not light when both buttons are off. In the truth table, if one of the inputs is 0 and the other is 1, the output is 1. In the other case, when the other input is 1, the output is 1. In the last case, when both inputs are 1, the output value is 1 again. In other words, if we press two buttons, the LED will light on the output. We can think of it as two parallel switches in an electrical equivalent circuit. Therefore, it is sufficient for any input value to be 1 to get 1 from the output. The result of all inputs being 1 is also accepted as 1. In order for the output to be 1, it is sufficient for one of the inputs to be 1. Now let's look at the NOT gate. Its symbol is like this and consists of an input and an output. In its mathematical expression, the output is not the input. It is represented by a line above A. The 7404 IC is the IC of this logic gate. When we look at its internal structure, we can see that this integration consists of six NOT gates. So, let's take a look at how this logic gate works. Again, we should feed the positive and negative supply of the IC with the DC power supply. Let's use a logic gate in this IC. The first pin of this IC was the input. Let's connect the button to give logic 1 to this input from our 5V DC power supply and connect an LED so that we can see the output value. The truth table of the NOT gate is the same as here. When we look at the truth table, if the input is 0, the output is 1. So, when the button is off, the LED will be lit. In the truth table, if the input is 1, the output is 0. That is, it will not output. The LED will not light. We've come to the end of this video, guys. I hope it was helpful and you liked it. Hope to see you in the next lesson, where I'll explain the NAND, NOR, XOR, and XNOR gates. Goodbye!